prophet and religious reformer Zoroastra Astra flourished before the 6th century BCE, more widely known outside Iran as Zoroaster. The Greek form of his name is traditionally regarded as the founder of the religion Zoroastrianism, containing or contains both both monotheistic and dualist features. It's likely influenced the other major Western religions such as Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Okay, now that's what I'm basically saying. Like you can take uh, you can take uh, Zoroastrianism and sit it right next to the New Testament Bible, and I mean. It would blow you away how similar these two religions are okay and that's kind of going back to what we were talking about with like Scientology okay I mean Scientology they just basically did the same thing and it's known throughout history where they've just like uh, they've merged things into one another where they want to have one one religion you know what i'm saying and may you give me the basic gist of scientology because i have my understanding of it and i like to develop more understanding based off of multiple understanding and so how do you describe scientology like if you had to define it to someone what would how would you define it do you want to say that Pecos? it is in practice, it's a religion based around money and influence. Can you elaborate? I'd have to, I'd have to say elaborate? it really is too, because uh, I forgot her name. Uh, she was the one who played the wife off of uh, the King of Queens. And, uh, yeah, I love that show. She, she had a real big issue with them. She used to be a Scientologist and uh, I yeah, I remember she came out of it and it was crazy. She came she out came of out. it and started uh, making some accusations and even, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tom uh, Cruise. No, the other one, uh, the one that played uh, John Travolta. John Travolta mm. even had an issue with her because he's a Scientologist. Oh yeah, see they like to prop up their celebrities. You know, uh, their celebrities are kings in their religions because they draw more people in. Now, on the religious side of things, it is a convoluted mess that has to do with, at one time in ancient history, a bunch of people refugees from another planet arrived in spaceships that looked like DC-10 aircraft. Uh, I don't know why they said DC-10 aircraft. They look like DC-10 aircraft and they crashed the aircraft into a... Some evil dude crashed the aircraft into a volcano or some crap. <laughs> and the refugees still exist on Earth to this day as... What's the name of the... Little uh, spirits that attach themselves to you. Uh, the spirits of these people attach themselves to people, and they become a burden on their leeches. Spirit, yeah, it, they become like spirits. And that's what they do at the mall: is they hook you up to a machine to test for those spirits. You said at the mall, right? You remember Sci the Scientologists used to always have booths in the mall to get tested to see yeah. Yeah. When, when I was yeah. a teenager they were or in Arizona uh, they actually would uh, encourage kids to take these classes where you go in and you start reading material and stuff and then they would uh, have you stand around in a circle and play ping pong with each other to see what your coordination and shit was Successful, they, they would do weird things like that. And it, it, it was uh, What's a this series of tests that, that you had to go through in order to determine how smart you were and stuff like that. 
Okay, so if you were attempting to convert someone to Scientology, what would be some incentive key points that would be presented in order for them to be more interested? I, I couldn't tell you. I'm not a Scientologist. Not not you, but what would they use? I would like to know how do they get people in? Because if you tell me, hey, you want to be here and spend a whole lot of money, I'm not in, I'm not intrigued at all. I am not in at all. So did I, you, well, there's first, something that they're offering. First, what are they offering? First of all, I mean people aren't being offered anything to become Scientologists. I mean, these people are just Because they offer for salvation and they're religion. Just, they're just falling for it, is all they're doing. Oh, it's God. like, you know, nobody yeah. nobody it's, it's, comes it's, it's, to your house and freaking uh, offers you money or anything like that when it comes to being a Christian. You know what I mean? It's, no, they offer you salvation. So yeah, I'm saying, I mean, <laughs> what is the offer? Well, the the thing with Scientology is like L. Ron Hubbard was supposed to be the most intelligent man on the face of the earth. Like whenever, whenever uh, they talk about him, like they they say that he took an IQ test and they couldn't even score his IQ. So if if you want to be you know intelligent like L. Ron Hubbard, then you become a Scientologist. You okay, okay. Now I see what you're saying. Infinite knowledge. What the beautiful God. But that's basically it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually did watch the movie that was based off of one of his books that the Scientologists got together to make, and it wasn't a bad sci-fi movie. It didn't push the religion. Apparently what was in the movie was uh, actually based on what's in their religion about <coughs> the oppressive gods and or the what's oppressive the name aliens of the that act like it overruled us and there was another alien in there that sent us a message and a recording and it actually wasn't a bad movie i don't remember the name of it oh okay okay i'm about but as to long as you watch it as a sci-fi movie as it was intended it's okay it wasn't the greatest movie ever right but, but yeah yeah it, it you gave some insight as to what's going on, or at least the beliefs in regards. Are there any type of movies that or documentaries that talk about Scientology? I'm like, All right. um, if you look in the chat, I posted a link to a Reddit page, okay. and in that chat is a clip from South Park, and the clip from South Park actually goes into what the Scientologists believe. But it does it in the very South Park like manner. I mean, but when they're do when they're showing the video <laughs> describing what's what the Scientologists believe, that is it. They were not exaggerating it in the video. You know, there's the lead in and the trailing part, but um, that is actually a fairly good summary of the basis of their religion <laughs> from Matt Parker and Trey Stone. Or Matt Stone. And this Elron guy is the guy who started it? Yeah, on the bar bet. Yeah. That far, let's remember. That's a Church of Science. Oh wow, we have one right here in Orlando. How nice! It's so They're great everywhere. To I had no clue. Fact, maybe I have to go. I don't want to deliver it. I'm a they definitely. Yeah, they're everywhere. I mean, it's like you turn around and you, you check it out, and you'll, you'll find out that they are everywhere. But, um, just a morning. There's a chance we'll get clam baked just for doing this video. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that that's that could be an issue. And blood transfusion. But the, the thing that I wanted to point out too was like with Jack Parsons, okay, oh, and like everybody makes it out like he's just all about you know the freaking thing with Elias or Crowley and the worshiping stuff but they seem to forget the fact that he uh was also the founder of jpl i mean and this man was a rocket scientist okay and jpl eventually got rid of him supposedly and then they said that freaking he accidentally killed himself at a freaking uh, his own personal lab at home. Okay. Who who said they who who, who we, hold uh, Jack on, who, Parsons. Jack Parsons. Okay, but who said no, who said they this killed is, himself? This is general knowledge. They it, that's everybody says that. Okay. Yeah, well they also Just, said. Yeah, well, let me stuff. finish well. here. Let me finish here because this is important now. That they 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 claim that he killed himself, and we know 
that JP Labs has been involved in black projects. We know that they do reverse engineering. We know that freaking they're associated with Area 51. So why wouldn't they take somebody like Jack Parsons and disappear him? Okay. So you're you're trying to tell me that a intelligent scientist who freaking knows how to build rockets before rockets went to the moon accidentally killed himself in his own personal freaking laboratory. Okay? That's the thing that I find mysterious about that, you know? And I don't know. I mean, the then you know, when I mentioned his ex-wife and everything, I didn't intend to freaking run off into the whole Scientologist area, you know what I mean? Because that's exactly what I'm talking about. It takes focus off of, you know, things that people aren't really paying attention to when it comes to Jack Parsons. You know, this this man was affiliated with Aliester Crowley, but there's absolutely no evidence that Aliester Crowley was ever satanic. I, I hear everybody say that all the time. He was into dark magic, and there's a difference between dark magic and Satan worshiping, okay? What's dark magic considered to be? Dark magic is the opposite of all the good magic that you believe in, okay? The only thing they they believe in is freaking taking shortcuts on the rituals that people who believe in uh, white magic it takes time and effort to freaking pack practice white magic. <laughs> Dark magic <clears throat> believes that it can be achieved or achieved quickly through the use of demons and stuff like that. Okay. And that's what Aliester Crowley believed in. He, he 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 wasn't a Satanist. He didn't get up there going, Oh, holy Beelzebub. He never did that shit. You know what I mean? And the reason why I know that is because I played around with that crap when I was a teenager. I, I was one of those kids who wanted to learn about that stuff, so I checked it out. And I was also one of the idiots who believed that the Necronomicon was real. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... I started researching on that stuff before I was even an adult. And, uh... Oh, so black magic is used to harm people. That's what the difference is. Black magic is used to get freaking effects quickly. Like, you don't have safety involved in it. You you don't care if people are harmed or not. That's like using a red candle for killing, because, like, I have my candles, and we do candle magic, but you can use it for good, or you can use it for negativity. You have, right. um... And the negativity yeah, yeah. would be... Would be the black magic. magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just looked it up, because see, I, I thought... But see, my whole, my whole thing is, is, like, uh, everybody focuses on all of that but they don't understand you know what I mean <laughs> this was a man who believed in dark magic but then t was also freaking a rocket scientist who freaking founded JPL who is associated with area 51 who's participated in freaking dark projects which JPL has I should say not necessarily Jack Parsons but JPL has done this stuff they're involved in reverse engineering and they admitted openly that they do it with Soviet Union's technology